Hello, and welcome back to our next lecture in the Modic Themes tutorial series. In our first video, we looked at the basic setup of a themes folder and all the various pieces that make up a Modic theme. We also looked at the config file and how that should be structured so that Modic would recognize our theme. If you have not yet watched that video, I would recommend doing so before diving into today's material. We're going to begin by looking at a couple of those folders we talked about previously and begin creating the basic page template. So first what I want to do is create a new folder for our HTML. I'm going to also at the same time create a new folder for CSS. Within the HTML folder, I'm going to create a new file called base.html.php. We will be creating additional files in this folder for various parts within Modic. Those might be email or page or message or form. But all of them are going to incorporate and be built on our base.html.php. So logically, that's where we're going to start. The first thing in our base file that we're going to want to have is our doc block. And the doc block will have your information that identifies you as the creator of that file. Next, we'll start with a basic doc type. Obviously, in this case, we're simply going to be using a doc type of an HTML. And then we'll start writing our HTML code. The first piece that we want to have is our head tag. And in the head tag, we're going to want to put our scripts and our CSS, and then a couple of dynamic elements. The first thing that we will add is our title tag. And the title tag is the first piece of dynamic content that we're going to use. What we're going to place in this field is a slot. Now, Monarch uses slots as places where content will be dynamically inserted later. In this case, what we're doing is we're defining a slot that we're going to output the page title to. We're also giving a default value for this position. So if nothing is specified by page title, then the title on this will simply be Motic. The next piece that we're going to want to add in our head is the meta description. And again, you'll notice that what we're going to be doing here is if we are on a page view, which we'll look at in just a little bit, then we want to set a meta tag of a description with the content equal to the page's meta description. Don't let that confuse you. We'll look at that in more depth in just a second. After we've defined those two things, now we're going to want to include any CSS or JavaScript files that we want to be part of our base HTML file. So for example, we may want to include a CDN style sheet for Bootstrap. And maybe as a result of that, we're also going to want a JavaScript for jQuery, a JavaScript for Bootstrap. And then let's also see, we should add a local CSS as well. So let's come in here and we'll add a link relation style sheet. And what we need to do for our href here is list something that's in our assets folder, view, assets, get URL, and what we're specifying is a URL to this CSS folder within our Modic theme. So we'll say themes, awesome, CSS, style.css. And we could name that whatever we wanted to, but in this case, we're naming it style. And before I forget, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new file called style.css within this CSS folder. Now, if we return to our base HTML PHP, we have our style sheets. The last thing we want to put in the head tag itself is one more dynamic element, again, referring to the assets piece. And we want to inject output head declarations. And these are going to be modic defined variables that need to be injected into the head part of our theme. Now we can begin the body tag. 
Now within the body, we're going to put three elements. And again, we could put more, but because we're using this as a base, we're simply going to add three. First, we're going to put any scripts from our assets that should be put when the body is opened. We'll also want to put any scripts that we want to have when the body is closed. And then in the middle, we're going to want to place a slot. And this slot is going to contain our content. So simply adding view slots output underscore content will allow us to place our content from all of the other implementations of this base page quickly. And that looks like we have a fairly good idea for our base.html.php. Next, what we need to do is create a new file for page.html.php. And this is going to be when we look at the landing page theme. So what we're going to be creating now is a page that will have dynamic elements in it, or slots as we're now referring to them. And this is something that will maintain consistency across all the landing pages within Modic, but allow flexibility for the user to be able to inject the various content that they want within the page. The first thing that we want to do with our page.html is going to be similar to what we did with our base file, and that's going to be to define our doc block. And again, this is where you get credit for what you're doing. The next thing that we want to do is want to make sure that this view is extending our template base. So what that tells Monic is that this particular file is extending the previous base.html.php that we've created. Next, we're going to be defining our variable for our parent variant. get variant parent boy that's a tricky one to say and then title what we're going to do is check to see if our parent variant is empty and if it is then we're going to look at where we get our title for our page from and next, what we'll look at is checking our view slots. And what we're doing is setting a public slot. to add one more parenthesis right here. So basically what we're doing here is setting our public variable based on whether or not this is public. Next, I want to set my slots variable for my page title. Now if you'll remember what we just created in the base.html.php we actually defined a position called slots where we output page title. And now here on our landing page template, what we're doing is we're setting the page title equal to the title. And that title is based on two factors, one being the page itself and the other being if it is a variant of a different page, then we want to grab the parent's title. Once we have that, then we're going to begin to write our HTML for the landing page. And basically we're going to create a bunch of different blocks with our slots that were defined in the config.php file. To refresh, if I open the config.php, you'll notice that for page, for slots, we have left, right, top, bottom, and footer. And this is where you can get creative as the designer for this template. So now you can define a general page layout. Keep in mind that for this particular template that we're messing with right now, we're using bootstrap styling. So that means that I'm going to use bootstrap terminology and classes as I create my various fields. 
Now, what we'll do very simply and quickly is define a general structure and look at how each of the pieces can be checked. For example, we're going to need to put checks around each of our slots to make sure that there's content that exists there before we display it. And that is all that's required to output a slot. Now we can very quickly add the rest of them in place by pasting in some previously defined values. And we now have a page that's pretty close to done. There is just one more thing that we want to make sure that we have in place. And that's going to be at the very bottom of our file. We're going to add one more slot. This slot is going to be output for our builder. And this is a line that's specific and unique for Modic that we need to have in place because this will help us to generate the builder layout within Modic. So saving that, what we have just created is a basic page layout for landing pages within Modic. Maybe we should look now and see what that looks like within Modic itself. So we'll navigate to the landing pages section and create a new landing page. For our theme, we'll choose awesome. That's the one we just created. You'll notice that I'm now greeted with the launch builder button. Clicking launch builder loads up my theme and you'll notice I have my header, left, right, bottom, and then under my HR, I have my footer. So just like that, I've been able to create a landing page theme. Now, of course, this looks horrible, and we would want to style that more so. So we would simply navigate back to our styling on this side and change the way that this page lays out. But you understand from here how to do that. In the next tutorial, we will look at creating an email template, forms template, and message template. And from there, you'll be pretty much good to go creating your own modic themes. As always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below or on the Modic blog comments. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and seeing the incredible themes that you can create.